Hello everyone, Gis here. Welcome back for this fourth video in a series on painting the tabletop world's cottage. In this episode, I'll show you step by step how I paint the stone walls and how I add stains to emphasize the rustic look of the building. In the previous episodes of the series, I painted the wooden surfaces inside the building, the plaster walls and the slate roof. If you'd like to see these videos, make sure to have a look at my Painting the Tabletop World Cottage playlist. Ok, let's paint now. Since I did a zenithal priming on the entire model, I'm gonna save a lot of time here. If you start here, I suggest beginning by applying a black primer. Then if you see that there is a lack of primer between the stones, you can use a brush and black paint diluted with water to cover the spaces between the stones. Then do a dark grey dry brushing all over the stone. And finally do a second dry brushing with a lighter grey, mainly on the stones at the top of the walls. After, I dilute brown and beige paint with water to randomly stain the stones. Here, I'm using Vallejo Flat Brown and Ripper MSP Letter Brown. Then, when the paint is dry, I apply Citadel Agrax Earth Shade all over the stones. Since I don't want to obscure the grey base coat too much, I dilute the shade with water so that it's less opaque. The shade will help bring out all the textures of the stone. When the shade is completely dry, I glaze some of the stones with pale grey and letter brown.
I also glaze very few stone with crimson red, khaki green and pale brown. After, when the glaze is dry, I do a pale brown dry brushing all over the stones. I start gently and add more pressure on the brush as I go. I'm using Ripper MSP Ginger Cookie, which is very similar to Tan Highlight. To simplify the process, I then apply an ultimate dry brushing to highlight the upper edges of the stone. I mainly aim for the stone at the corners of the walls. The final step is to give the walls an age-old appearance. I stain the base of the walls with Citadel Noon Oil. Then, when the shade is dry, I apply Biotan Green Shade at the very base of the building. Shade can also be applied anywhere you wish to create water stain and moss on the building, like under the windows and around the chimney.
to complete the effect, I do a khaki green and pale lichen dry brushing on the areas I just shaded. I also add coal black in and around the chimney. This concludes the fourth painting session on the country cottage. If you enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. In the next video, I'll paint the timbers and all the other wooden elements outside the building. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, keep on painting and take care.